who is the former Pakistani foreign affairs advisor and a weekly columnist for the News a National Daily. He's live from the Pakistani capital, Islamabad. A very complicated and, and complex situation, as we've said there. Uh, the Pakistani government, Musharraf, had said until now, and it had downplayed ISIS, uh, ISIS role and, you know, ISIS's... Uh, strength in Afghan in Pakistan rather insisting that only a small number of militants had pledged allegiance to the group just how big is this ISIL, ISIL threat today in Pakistan well it's very substantial because uh, this is not the first attack that uh, Daesh has uh, claimed as uh, as you might know Daesh has been operating in Pakistan and has uh, claimed multiple successes uh, the largest and probably the earliest of those was the Safura goat attack in Karachi in which over 40 people were killed yeah. uh, when terrorists boarded a bus and started killing members of one of our uh, religious minorities. So the, uh, the, the threat of Daesh is, uh, is very present, sure. very real. Uh, Daesh itself has made claims over this part of the world and, uh, and has been operating uh, quite frequently and robustly in Afghanistan. Right. And I think that it, it would be foolish for Pakistanis to pretend that it doesn't exist here. Just explain to us now, this is a, a very uh, interesting and important point. You have Afghanistan and Pakistan who have long accused each other of failing to crack down on militants who operate along their porous border. Why, though, is the Pakistani government blaming Afghanistan for this particular attack? Isn't ISIL a similar threat? They share? Well, I, so I think that there, first of all, I think it's overly simplistic to, mm. to say that it's the exact same threat across both countries. Right. But I think it's also, uh, I think it doesn't help anybody, uh, particularly Pakistan, for Pakistan to fixate on the problem in Afghanistan as being the only problem that we face. There is definitely, uh, there are definitely groups that, uh, that use Afghan space, uh, Afghan havens, uh, to, to lick their wounds every time they take a beating on this side of the border. Mm. And uh, then they plan attacks and then they conduct those attacks in Pakistan. And there's also no doubt, at least for Pakistanis, that those people have the support of, uh, of countries that, that don't uh, see Pakistan as a friend, particularly India. Yeah. However, the core of the problem that Pakistan faces today is inside Pakistan because the enablers, the facilitators, the, the bomb makers, the communicators, the financiers, all of that network of terror has existed in this country, continues to exist in this country, and it is successfully attacking innocent Pakistanis left, right, and center. So the problem uh, that Pakistan faces is inside Pakistan. The solution to these problems is also inside Pakistan. Okay, Musharraf Zaidi, Pakistan has been at war with the Taliban and other extremist groups for a number of years now. And now you have this new threat from Daesh or ISIL. How does the government tackle these multiple threats? Can it tackle these multiple threats? I think the, the government, you know, Pakistan probably faces a more complex uh, threat to its security than any country in the world today. And I think that there's been an incredible amount of work that the Pakistani military and Pakistani civilian leadership have done in order to push back against this threat. We've had some really amazing successes over the last couple of years, but any kind of complacency is going to, it's going to cause innocent Pakistanis to die. 20 children were among were among the were among those who died uh, last night in the in the attack last night. So we we cannot afford to be complacent. We will have letdowns and we will have setbacks. But Pakistan is in a is in a fight for for the long term, and it is in a fight that will end in fatalities. We have to make sure those fatal fatalities are at the end of the terrorists and not innocent men, women, and children in Pakistan. Musharraf Zaidi, thank you so much for joining us on the news grid. Musharraf Zaidi, live for us in Islamabad.